shit talk a blade. And Johnny, I'm on the fourth step. The fourth step is the foundation. This is an update of my target D. And um, how I am on the fourth step now. Doing in my research of being targeted, I found so much stuff that uh, I first begin to say these people are crazy. These people have to be crazy. Something is not right here, but my brain still said, keep going. And I kept going. And then I found um, that those who are targeting me, they knew something about me that I did not know. And that is I had a certain power. They knew I had this power. You have this power too. They know we all have this power. This is why they put in the Illuminati key codes or some shit key codes to the Illuminati. That uh, if we ever find out that we have this power, we be, will be able to vanquish them. I just want to read just a little bit of this, I think. And then if you go and you read the one that I'm reading, it says, John. I'm on the first step, but the 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 joke or whatever it is is Johnny. I'm on the first step. But when you read it, it sounds like someone is being targeted. So I'll start right here. It says, "So once again, the day was normal. I actually told my friend about what happened. See, the day always appears to be normal. I could tell." He kind of thought I was going insane. <laughs> I remember that. He kept saying things like, lack of sleep can do crazy things to a person's mind and shit. Lack of sleep. Either way, it felt good to tell someone. <laughs> I guess he just told his wife that my house was getting fumigated or something and that I needed a place to crash for a few days. I stayed up with my friend until, man, this got down. Let's try it again. I stayed up with my friend until around 1.30. And then he said he needed to catch some sleep and that I should do the same. So I went to bed in the guest room across the hall from the master bedroom. I felt like I closed my eyes for a second. And then all of a sudden, I looked at the clock beside my bed. And it was what? 3.35. This is the time that they wake you up. In the threes. There are people, um, there are targets on YouTube who can talk about this and give you uh, the time and why it would be three-ish. O'clock in the morning. To wake you up or to keep you woke. I must have been really tired, however, at that point, something felt off. I felt like something was in slow motion, and that my body was heavy and groggy. I could barely move. If anyone has ever had sleep paralysis before, it was kind of like that. But I was much, much, I was much more aware of what was happening than it spoke. Johnny. I'm downstairs. Carmel, Delia Hankerson, <laughs> I'm on the fourth step. That creepy goddamn voice. It sound really far away, but I still heard it. Now my friend's house was a basement. A middle floor with his kitchen, home office, bathroom, etc. on it. And then the bedrooms are upstairs, one more floor. I heard a weird screeching sound and then silence for about five minutes. The waiting was the worst part. I could feel myself sweating, heart beating, but I couldn't move. My body felt weak. 
and completely sapped of energy. Then the silence was broken. I heard the clinging sound of movement. It was closer than before. Johnny, I am in the kitchen. But I'm on the fourth floor though, you know they right. Hankerson, I'm on the fourth floor. <laughs> then more clingy, then silence. The silence only lasted a minute or two. Johnny, I'm on the fourth step. All I wanted to do was pass out or get up and run. Anything but wait. But I just couldn't move a muscle. I shut my eyes and started shaking. And that's what is going to happen to you, Carmel. Exactly. Johnny, I'm on the fourth step. Each time the raspy voice, raspy voice would speak, it some closer and closer, torturing me with seconds of silence while I waited my worst fears. Yeah, it will happen to you too, Carmel. Now, the update. When it comes to my baby girl, she got her baby girl back and she got Yakel back. Well, Yakel became a little. Well, he was driving them fucking nuts. And uh, the last thing Yakel did, he began to fight the police. He was kicking, fighting, scratching the police. <laughs> Guess he wants to be like his granny. I did talk to him about that. That's not a good thing to do. See, they probably have him programmed for later on. Uh, for some shit to drop off and then Yakel's going to think he can fight uh, the police officers again like he did when he's now he's seven and then they will kill him however when Yakel began to fight the police the social worker called my daughter and wherever my daughter was he told her he would come pick her up he went to pick her up drove to pick her up drove her to get Yakel and then drove her and Yakel home. As he's driving Yakel home, he tells my daughter, he says, For now, Yakel will be your responsibility. We have nothing else to do with Yakel. We are bowing out. I know you are, motherfucker. Now, the update on the twins. When I say something on uh, a video and I put that video up on YouTube for other ears to hear whether anyone hears it or not, I put it out into the ether for the ether to hear. Before I put it up, I, 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 I go a long time in my mind and I talk to these motherfuckers in my mind unless no one is here, then I talk to them out loud. But I talk to them in my mind because they're invisible. So why should I talk to them out loud unless there's no one here? Then I will talk to them out loud. I need them to know and get the message. So it's some form of, I guess it would be meditating. And I told them to get their hands off my grandbabies, Mariah and Mishael. Well, Mishael and Mariah, because Mishael is the oldest. And uh, she's like two minutes older, I think. And um, after I put that video up, and you know, in my mind, I told him, you got six weeks to let me see you are pulling these programs up off my grandbabies. So a couple of days later, I may have been the next day after I put the video up, I'm talking to my baby girl on the phone. And uh, we always see Mariah. For some reason, we never see Michelle. So um, I'm talking to my baby girl on the phone, and all of a sudden, Michelle appears. And they were playing seesaw with them to put one in jail. When she gets out, put the next one in jail. And Michelle was looking at three years in prison for some stupid shit. When she explains the shit to you, you know that shit's stupid. You know it's not real. And they would pick them up. And uh, Mishael would get out of jail. They would go pick up Mariah. When Mariah gets out, they would pick up Mishael so that they, these two can never get together and know what the fuck you And you would do them like this so that... Um, 
they could not get together to uh they could not put their heads together to find out what is exactly going on that's why you play the seesaw jail game however after i put the video up as i said i was talking to my baby girl and all of a sudden Mishael appears the one that everyone has been trying to figure out what in the hell she is because we have not seen her i mean every now and then her mom would see her but the rest of us had not seen her she walks up to my baby girl and she tells my baby girl that uh she had just gotten out of jail too <laughs> she said she had did 14 days however this time they had them both in jail at the same time you damn real you knew you had to change that fucking script because i'm not playing with you motherfuckers and uh while michelle was in jail mariah was already there while they're both in jail comes to find out the charges they have for mariah and the charges they have for michelle they have the charges on both of them as though michelle and Mar mariah is one person <laughs> so all those bum ass times that they picked them up they had to um let them both go and drop every fucking charge they ever had all the time they spent in jail and when you charge them with this or you charge them with that and they had to spend a little time in jail and give it them if it's three weeks you owe them you dropped the charges and michelle was able to do three years in prison and all this shit was dropped so now they have no criminal record the slate is clean in that area but now you owe them for falsely arresting them and for falsely charging them and for falsely holding them. So now you owe them. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to pay them too. So these things are happening. However, we, my family, we are nowhere near out of the woods. Nowhere near out of the woods. <laughs> the other night, uh, I was doing a video. I think I began to talk about the Pope bitches. And then they began to actually water board the fuck out of me. I mean, really, I was throwing up water, you know. And somehow I imagined, I, I can, certain things happen. It's like my mind gives me pictures. So I just say I imagine it. But what they were doing is, uh, they were waterboarding me. I was just imagining this shit. And then they would let me up. And they get back on my camera. <laughs> and they come and snatch me again. And let me go. And I get back on my camera. And the third time they did it, I'm like, no, you bitch ass motherfuckers. I know about the bulletproof mind. And how you play with the rat. And you think I am the rat you're going to play with? And I imagined myself getting away from them. And I got back on my camera and the bitches came to snatch me up again. The last time, I imagined I had this ball of energy in my hand. And I threw it at them. And I told my son about it. And, um... See, I think they are watching me. This shit is red. <laughs> and then, um, when I told my son about it, I said, you know, I probably just imagined it like that, you know, because of Dragon Ball Z. My son said, yeah, it's called a turtle destruction wave. I said to my son, it's called a what? He said, a turtle destruction destruction wave I say a turtle he said yes <laughs> when I was four years old I like the word inducted so I'm going to use that I was inducted into the turtle club I remember the day so well oh yes
I remember it well. <laughs> I just like to say that after I say something like that. I remember that day so well. Jenkins and my uncle Wes, they went and fishing or something. They came back with a turtle. However, uh, my entities at the time were my invisible friends. And they let me know that I was going to be inducted into the turtle club. It's a long story. <laughs> well, it's kind of short. And when they told me, but when they tell it, it, it's a long story. And when my son said that, and they knew that there's a way that I can produce this energy through my hands, I know it is. Um, when I was married to Alicia Ma, Elisha Ma can stand up against the wall, well not stand against the wall, but stand in front of the wall. He will hold his hands, both his hands out like this. And um, he would um, take his hands, he'd stand up for a while, like as to meditate. And then he would take his hands and go, you know, and he would push his hands toward the wall. And you will be able to hear, um, you will be able to hear the energy hit the wall, you know. So, I know I can do that. I know we all can do this. And uh, when they were waterboarding me, I, I, I imagine that a ball of energy in my hand and I throw it at them. And when I threw it at him, whatever was on me, it came up off of me. And uh, I haven't been waterboarded since. Now, they still will make me cough. But nowhere near how it used to be. Because uh, whoever that is, you best to get your motherfucking hands up off of me. I mean that shit. I know that me and my children were not out of the woods with this targeting scheme bullshit. But you motherfucker best to leave us alone. I know you see that somehow we are coming together. We deal with different things. You know, uh, like my daughter, she has this black sage and this other sage. And she goes to her house to take it to her house and to get rid of the negative energies. And then it began to not work anymore. I told her the shit I used a long time ago, they somehow it stopped working too. And um, she called me and she said, for some reason, the sage is not working anymore. So I researched it and they said that there are some things that the sage will not be able to control. And I told her, yeah, that's that electronic shit, like electronic harassment. And so I told her I have another way of doing it. So now there will be one more of me. And soon I know my baby girl will join on and there will be three of us. And uh, then maybe another will join on, who knows. But when enough of us join on and uh, learn how to use this energy, we're going to fuck your motherfucking ass up. And so that is what I'm going to be doing um, this phase. Of step four because Johnny I'm on the fourth step the fourth step is the foundation that is where you build when you stand on the fourth step or you stand on your foundation that is your square my square has been circled for a long time which means they cannot get in to make me uh, do shit that I don't want to do if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it they are not Frankie J and Jenkins, and I'm no longer a child. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. When I was a child, I had to eat my dinner first and then my dessert. <laughs> I eat my dessert first now, then I eat my dinner. Because that's how I want to do it. And, um, Carmel. I know that they are using you and because they have to in order to f fuck with a melanated being they have to have a melanated being with them and Carmel I know you 
are the ones that are writing the scripts. Not all of them. But I know you're the one that's writing the scripts. And you're the one I'm after. I'm after your liver. And the word liver is a one, is an E, an a I, and an E, which will give you 13. In the word liver, there is also the word live. In the word liver is also the word lie. Carmel, you have become a liar. And you are 13 strana. And the way you live is really fucked up. To fuck a, 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 up a melanated being for a pink motherfucker. Because you are not in charge of this shit. You do not have this much money. Although you stole all of our money from the nation of Yahweh. And you sold all of our estates. But you still do not have this much money. And now you have lost the bet, Carmel. Because you told them that I will never find out. And I was so ignorant to what was going on. I was so ignorant. But I would like to say, and I'm going to do that in part two because this is 20 minutes long. She talk a lot, he wrote.